morning, kids, and welcome to Karen Reads. I'm sitting here in my living room in South Berwick reading to all of you. And um, on Wednesday, this day that I'm reading to you, it's Earth Day. So I chose a book about that. But let me tell you about the writer, first of all, and the illustrators, and one person, Frank Ash, A-S-C-H, if you want to Google him. He has a great website. There's an interview with him. Uh, there's lots of pictures of his books and stories, and um, so Google him if you can. Um, you'll enjoy it. Um, and I just want to tell you that... Um, in Native American cultures, uh, the turtle is very important. Um, many of them believe the Great Spirit created their homeland by placing Earth on the back of a giant sea turtle. So we'll see a picture of that inside. The Earth and I. And here's the boy in our story standing on that sea turtle, which is the earth. These pages are a little bit hard to turn. Such an old, worn out book. The earth and I are friends. Sometimes we go for long walks together. That's a long walk. You can see the brook next to him with the fish swimming in it. I tell the earth what's on my mind. She listens to every word. Then I listen to her and you can see he's looking at some baby birds down in the middle of the illustration and they're peeping and cheeping. And I wonder what he hears from that fish, that silent fish. You know, you can listen to silence. Oh, there's more he has to listen to. I almost forgot. Thunder and lightning. I love thunderstorms. The earth and I are friends. And you can see that at the end of the storm, she gave him a rainbow. We play together in my backyard. You can see the mound of earth he's put up and his little toy truck on it, on a road that he made on it. And little sticks he put in there for trees to create his miniature world in the backyard. I help her to grow. She helps me to grow. First of all, he's planting so the earth can grow things. And then he's eating things that the earth produce. That the earth grew for him. I sing for her, she sings for me. I 
and dance for her. He's dancing in the lead. She dances for me. Look at how the wind curls the leaves up so it looks like they're dancing for him. When she's sad, I'm sad. And you can see all the junk that got put on this particular place of earth. An old boot, some old oil cans, a dead fish, a dead TV, an old tire, an oil slick. So the earth is sad and he is sad. He's gathering up the garbage and planting a new flower to help the earth. When she's happy, I'm happy. And look at how clean everything is. The earth and I are friends. Okay, a short book today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see ya. All right, take care. Bye-bye.